What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to give you five ways to quickly improve your poker game. This is for serious poker players who wanna get real results in this game. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, so the first thing you need to do if you wanna start getting real consistent results in this game is to make this game a total commitment. Guys, we gotta get this play in one hour, two hours on the weekends out of there. That's for amateurs, that's what recreational players do, that is not what serious poker players do. I've said in many of these videos before, guys, by the way, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss my new poker strategy videos. You have to make this game a complete lifestyle commitment if you want to get real results in this game. Early on in my professional poker career, I learned the hard way that if I didn't schedule my playing and play consistently, and what I mean by that is basically playing every single day, that the hands weren't gonna get played. They're not gonna play themselves. You need to get in there at the tables and you need to make this game a priority. As I always say, I'm not saying ignore your family, your kids, your work commitments and your schooling and stuff. Obviously there are some things that are going to have a higher priority in your life than poker, but a lot of stuff like Netflix, video games, stuff like that, a lot of people put that in front of poker. And if you're one of those people right now who binge watching the latest Netflix show is more important than putting in the hands and the study as well at the poker tables, this is really going to negatively impact your results over the long run. So I would highly recommend playing every single day if possible and also putting in one hour of study for every single two hours that you play. I have recommendations for everything that I suggest in the description below. But the bottom line, guys, is that if you allow yourself to be outworked in this game, eventually you will be outplayed. This is something that I really honed in on early in my poker career, saying to myself, you know, I might not be the most talented poker player, I might not be the most gifted, but there is nobody at this poker table that's going to outwork me. And I believe that that was a large contributing factor to my success. Let's move on to point number two, and that is to hire a coach. This was also a big game changer early on in my professional poker career. I hired both strategy coaches and mental game coaches. I believe that both are equally important and a lot of people only hire a strategy coach these days. 99% of coaches are strategy coaches, but there are a couple of good mental game coaches out there as well and you should look for them. I'm gonna have a little bit more to say about that later, but what I will say is that good poker coaches, guys, are not cheap. If somebody comes around to you and they're willing to coach you for $20, $50 an hour, I would honestly run for the hills. And also if a coach ever comes to you that is also a massive massive red flag good poker coaches they don't solicit students students come to them because of their reputation because of the results in the game and as for the poker coaching itself I have coached hundreds of students myself over the years no I don't coach anymore I'm sorry about that I still get a lot of questions about that but what I found when I did coach before is that a mix of live play whether that's them watching me play or me watching them play and we're doing something like a zoom call or Skype back in the day and talking in real time about the hands the strategy I would say that having that for about 50% of the sessions I found was highly effective and the other 50% was theory based often working in a program like poker tracker which I'm gonna talk about a little bit more in a sec and reviewing their hands helping them run filters to find their leaks and find out where they're bleeding money and where they can perhaps also gain more value value. Which leads me into point number three to quickly improve your poker game, and that is to review your hands. Guys, I've discussed this many times on the channel here before. I think it's utterly crazy these days that the overwhelming majority of poker players never review their hands today. Guys, how can you ever get better at poker if you never look to see what you're doing well and what you might need to be improving on? Luckily, there are incredible tools these days. As I discussed many times, I've used Poker Tracker for over 10 years now. I'll include Include links to that in the description below and basically if you play online poker you can run your hands through the program they're already in your database and you can run filters for any scenario possible in order to find out where your leaks are and you can also review your hands after each session which is something that I highly recommend doing especially if you're going through a prolonged downswing this way you can find out if you're actually just getting unlucky a lot or if you're playing bad because a lot of people think oh I'm just always getting so unlucky 
and actually the problem is that they're not playing optimally. And by the way, if you want to learn how to play optimally, I would highly recommend downloading my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. That'll give you my entire strategy to start crushing small and mid stakes games. And finally, in terms of hand review, I think the few poker players who do that actually kind of do it wrong as well. Guys, you want to focus on the medium size pots. The little pots and preflop are obviously not very important. Assuming that you have a reasonably fundamental preflop strategy already in place, most people do these days. And of course, the all in massive pots don't really matter either. You don't need to review a hand where you've got aces and the other guy's got kings, or you've got kings, the other guy's got aces. All the money's going in, it doesn't really matter. Puck King's gonna win 20% of the time, who cares, right? It's not a big deal. What you want to be reviewing, the hands you wanna be looking at are the hands, the medium sized pots, around 30 big blinds, 50 big blinds, 70 big blinds, somewhere in there, because these are typically the pots where perhaps you have ace king or something like that. Somebody raises, you re-raise pre-flop, maybe the flop comes down, maybe you miss the flop, you make a bet, they call, maybe they make a big bet on the turn and you fold, okay? So that's gonna be, say, a 30 big blind loss or something for you. Or even hands where you win as well. It doesn't matter, win or loss. These are the hands that you wanna key in on to find out if you could be doing something better in those spots. And finally, how do you find out if you could be doing something better? Well, the other beautiful thing about a program like Poker Tracker is you can study the best players in your game. Guys, this is something that I've done for years. I've mentioned in my poker books and on my blog before that I've literally spent thousands of hours simply studying the best players in my games because who else is better to learn from than the people that are winning at the highest pace in the games that you actually play in. You can literally just review their hands. I mean, obviously they, they have to go to showdown, but if you play enough poker, you're, you're going to build up a database of hands with your opponents and you can simply just study how do they play ace king and three bat pots, the best players in your games. And then you can learn to apply to your game what they might be doing better than you. And if you think that they're doing something that's, that's not very good, then you know obviously don't use that. But guys, there's nothing better for your game than reviewing your actual hands and reviewing your strategy. It is utterly crazy to me that most people just play the game of poker. They never think to watch the game film. If you want to improve, you got to review your hands. All right, so point number four to quickly improve at poker, and please don't laugh, let me explain, is you need to find some inner peace, guys. Because what you need to know you already know this is that poker is a game of mental warfare it's all up here guys everyone thinks it's all about how to play your ace queen when somebody four bets you pre-flop or how to play your pocket nines on the bubble in a tournament guys most people play those situations relatively decently there's not a lot of really you know awful poker players out there these days this is not 2005 anymore most people struggle in the mental side when adversity eventually strikes at the poker table as it always will we get a bunch of bad beats cooler setups and the like most people still, especially in small stakes games and mid stakes games, they fly off the handle. They lose their mind. They start playing all sorts of terrible hands. They start jumping up to higher stakes. They start making ridiculous bluffs that make no sense at all. I've made a lot of videos recently here on the channel talking about how to make proper bluffs, telling a believable story. The biggest thing that when people are on tilt is they don't tell believable stories because they're just clicking buttons or if they're playing live, they're just throwing chips in there. And because they're angry, they're steaming. They're like, I'm just gonna bluff this guy out and they're not thinking about what hand they're representing, how the board connects with that hand and so on. You know, telling a believable story. And lastly, they're making all sorts of terrible call downs. So how do you fix this? Well, those who are calmer, more relaxed, more focused are simply going to get better results at the poker table, guys, because they're going to not get so emotional in the moment when things don't go their way. The big four really for me over my entire professional poker career are an optimized sleep schedule, optimized diet, and regular exercise. And number four is meditation. People tend to still scoff at this stuff and kind of laugh at it, but I can tell you that every single poker pro that I know takes this stuff very seriously because we all understand that once again, the mental edges, guys, is where all the big money is these days. I've said many times before, often the players that play in the high stakes games that so many of us look up to and think, oh my God, that's some sort of poker god, really, they don't actually play that much better than the guy playing 
playing in the $50 game. Where they excel is that they are much stronger mentally and emotionally. They're able to keep employing the same game plan no matter what the results have been lately. And 95% of poker players struggle with this mightily. Once their aces get cracked a couple of times, the game plan just gets shipped out the window and they just start completely going on tilt. Don't let that happen to you. Let's move on to my final point, number five, to quickly improve your poker game, and that is to invest in poker books, training courses, and the like. Guys, there's never been more high-level material available these days to quickly improve your game. I wish any of this stuff was available when I was first starting out nearly 20 years ago in 2003-2004. I had to learn through trial and error back then, and it was painful and difficult. But these days, there are so many high-level books. I have written three of them myself. There are high-level poker training courses, which literally walk you through every aspect of the game. I've been investing in these for years myself and also finally starting to make some of these as well. I also just released my brand new Black Rain 79 Elite Poker Training University, 17 plus hours of advanced video poker lessons. I will include links to everything that I suggest in the description below, but guys, I hope that these five tips help you start improving your poker game. This video was obviously meant for serious poker players, not the weekend warriors. Like I said off the start, guys, it's difficult to get real results in this game if you're just one of those weekend hobbyists and there's nothing wrong with that. I want to say that a lot of people do just play this game for fun and more power to them. But for those of you guys who want a little bit more out of this game, I hope this one helped. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also, once again, you can grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.